December 2019, I tagged along on my partner's work trip to Brussels, London, and Paris. Here are some of my adventures. Good morning, world. <laughs> um, with all the drama of my phone dying yesterday, I didn't plug it in last night, so I woke up naturally this morning at 9 a.m., but no one's here. Um, so I'm not quite sure what my plan is for the day. It's, it looks like it's gonna be quite sunny and nice, and the thing is, yesterday the sun set at like 3 or 4 p.m., so I know that I need to get up and get moving this morning to get things done. Hello again. <laughs> okay, it's been decided. We're going on the comic book walk. We're eating Belgian waffles. We're eating some delicious fries. Let's do it. So we're going on the comic book walk today because I didn't know this before coming here, but Brussels is home to many comic book and comic strips. So whether that's Tintin or the Smurfs, they all originated here. So I believe in the 1980s or the 1990s, the comic book museum decided, you know, we're going to revitalize some of the city, make it look nicer. So they started putting these murals on the side of random buildings throughout town. Um, it started as just a couple, and now there are over 50 in the city, and they actually stretch outside of the city as well. So I'm just gonna hit a couple today. You can hit most of them with a two and a half hour walk. I don't know if I'm gonna survive a two and a half hour walk, <laughs> but we will try to hit the big ones today, and I'll take you along with me. Wow, okay, so it is so much colder today than it was yesterday. We've made it to the first spot on our comic book tour right here. I'm freezing and I'm gonna see a couple and then stop and get some waffles and we'll talk more. So I didn't even realize it, but on the way to our second stop, oh, the birds are pretty, uh, we came across Mankin Fist and I actually think they're going to take us to the Mankin Fist Street art possibly up here. Maybe there's another comic book thing I don't know about. We'll see. Okay, so I'm sitting in Grand Place. So LOL at me thinking that I was gonna be able to find a place to sit indoors, the line was super long. So I got a Belgian waffle to go today, rather than a Liège. And these are a lot lighter than the Liège waffles. But the Liège ones are like cooked in extra sugar, so they're kind of crispy and crunchy and super sweet, and like more dense, but these are super light. But I'm definitely gonna have powdered sugar all over me by the end. Oh my God. Mm. Well, that's super cool. Just down this alley back here, there is another one of the newer comic strip murals that's built in the past couple of years for LGBTQ rights. Oh my gosh, and you walk out and I already see another one right across the street. so much colder today than it was yesterday and it's currently like just after 2 p.m. and the sun is already starting to set so I'm like okay I gotta hustle put some muscle into this walk because I am not going anywhere quickly and um, I've only seen like four murals so we gotta move a little quicker I found another one so it looks like they are setting or breaking down from a market earlier this morning Let's see what information we have on this one in the guidebook. Oh 
my poor little gloved frozen hands cannot flip through the guidebook um, to give information about these things. But I know we're coming up on Asterix and Obelix soon. I will just insert information about these when I get home that I'm not frozen. So I just found another one. I wasn't even expecting to see this one. You see it's got the little Atomium up here, a little bank robber. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I see it in a lot of the pictures. Another one coming up and it's really big. Oh, it's got a guy standing on an elephant. It's so funny because right as I walked up to get a closer look, at this big one with the kid on the elephant, I turned around and there's another one right behind me. I just stumbled upon another one on the way to one of the last ones that I was supposed to see. You know, it's amazing because, you know, there's 50 plus scattered throughout the city and the neighboring area. And it's just crazy. You walk around and you stumble upon them. When I was reading, a lot of people didn't realize that there's an actual route that you can take. They thought that it was just, you know, like street art throughout the city. So that's what's so cool is like, you get to see part of Belgium or excuse me, Brussels history. You get to explore parts of the city that you wouldn't normally see. And, you know, see some cool comics at the same time. the last and most famous ones. I know this one is called Ricochet. He was like, um, who am I kidding? I don't read comics, but <laughs> I know this one's famous and it's always listed on the guides. And it's just off that square with the beautiful, beautiful light. Check it out. Coming up on our very last stop of the day in the very first comic book mural in Brussels. Uh, also, I'm just not realizing that I stood in front of this earlier and didn't realize it was right behind me when we saw this one. for finishing all of that walking. I went to what's supposed to be the best fruiterie in Brussels called Fruitland. <laughs> the line was kind of long, but it wasn't um, a long wait. Like the line moves pretty quickly. They give you your fries almost instantaneously. I got mine with ketchup and mayo. First bite, this is the true test. Is it the best? Oh my god, pigeons are fierce here. They're good, they're definitely really salty. They're not as crunchy as I thought they'd be. But I heard that the fries in the French region of Belgium are the best, whereas like the sightseeing and the buildings in the Dutch region of Belgium are the best. So it's like, it's give and take. But not too bad. I think a perfect way to end the day and a perfect way to kind of warm up a little bit. Pretty sure you can see my breath as well. Ooh. There's nothing that I love more than fries. Mm. In the next video, we move outside the city center to explore some of Brussels' famous Art Nouveau architecture. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you next time. So I kept walking down the street by the mannequin fist, trying to figure out why I couldn't find the Tintin mural, but that's because it's being fixed right now.